if you're wondering if I'm filming this at 5 a.m., then my answer is yes. I am filming this at 5 a.m. So, hey guys, it's me again, Janina here. Talk a lot of this, about this content, and it's entitled supportive sarcasm and today I'm going to show you four amazing tips on how to be a sport friend in a sarcastic way. Tip number one. When a friend comes up to you with a problem, you just have to know the right responses. Like, response number one. Aral muna ba Yan ang tamang sabihin para sa mga friends mo nagpapagsa ka ng grades dahil lang sa love life. O kaya naman, pwede rin sa mga friends mo alam mo mapapariwara kahit crush lang ang meron siya. Response number 2 Sabihin mo ba may pakaya ko? Yan naman ang dapat sabihin sa mga friends mo ang problema lang ay Nakalimutan siyang pabauna ni nanay. Kaya wala siyang pang-lunch. Response number 3. Ha? Oo oh, na lang. Yan naman ang dapat sa mga friends mong super o ay magkwento ng problema. Naakala mo katapusan na ng mundo. Sarcasm side. Like seriously, this will really help because even though these responses are rude, actually bring a smile on your friend's face. Am I right? Or am I right? Am I right? Right? Am I right? Right? <laughs> but yeah, when they say that they're serious at the end, that's when you got to take them serious. Or not. Tip number two. Always volunteer him or her as tribute. Know what I mean? I mean, always volunteer your friend at a certain event, class, like class elections, or participating in a dance contest, or anything of the sort. Because there's always this friend of ours who's that stereotypical kind of shy guy or gal. nominate for president. Go! Let's go! Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Sarcasm aside, this may actually boost your friend's self-confidence and self-esteem because if they know that someone is cheering for them, they will have the bravery to stand up and stand out in the crowd a chance to find their inner self. Oh, that's so deep. Tip number three, be a realist. Sometimes, being a realist is the best thing to do. Every time a friend comes up to you with this. <gasps> OMG, I'm not fit for this. I can't even do the job. I'm giving up on life. Not enough. I can't even do this job properly. I just hate myself for this. This is what you say, kid, you know. Sarcasm aside, this is actually reverse psychology, people. Have you heard of reverse psychology, people? If you actually agree that your friend can't they will have this urge in them to prove you wrong and to prove him or herself wrong. Tip number 
ko. Ito na ata yung pinakamatino sinabi ko dito sa buong video na to. Just listen. So sometimes I'm here is all that it is. My gosh. That kid named Emmett Finn. Just listen. Just Sometimes people just want their stories to be heard and they just want sympathy and pity sometimes. But just in case your friend says, So what am I going to do? You just keep on listening and listening. Give him a little pat on the shoulder. Sarcasm aside. So, actually there's not that much sarcasm in that tip. Because listening is a good way to help your friends solve their problem. Because leaving your friends hanging on their own dilemmas can help them think deeply of a certain solution to it. You just have to listen and teach them how to handle their problems by themselves because there are certain problems of your friends that I think you don't have the right to let them So that is it guys for this video. I hope you liked it and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. And if you want to watch my last bit, think right here in this area. And last last Friday I was at the Philippine Arena. If you're checking out my Twitter, you would know. And so big, so amazing. If you're wondering why I'm there, it's because my church had um, a certain event there. So it was filled with thousands of people. I don't know the seating capacity, but it was filled. So it was really a blessing to be there. So at the end of this vid, there are some clips that I will put. So yeah. Want to see what's inside the Philippine Arena? Just watch this video until the end. So that is really it. See you again on another special place today.